guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tell you a wee Mayfly pattern that I think uh, might work for the likes of Lock Malvin and stuff. Um, if you fish the, the Mayfly. Yeah. That's the wee, the wee fly there. So I'm just going to show you how to put it together. <coughs> Excuse me, beg your pardon. Now the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 in size 10. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is the Uni Thread 80 in light olive. So I'm just going to come in, I'm going to get my thread started a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. That sort of way just gives me a measurement because we've two haggle, the body haggle, two front haggles and then the, the wee muddler head. So I'm just running my thread down until I'm past the, the point of the hook. Just get the, straight in the face. The tail on the fly, this is the cock pheasant fibers. Now this has been dyed a golden olive. That tail. So just taking off anywhere between four and a half a dozen fibers. And then we're just gonna offer these up to the hook. And I want them around about a length and a half the two lengths the, the hook over the back. I'm gonna take a couple of turns going down the hook. Tie in the tail, just trim that round about the, the length of the body. The rib is going to be the ultra wire and hot orange. Oh, we length this off, and then we're just going to advance my thread forward, tying in the rib and the cutting into the tail. Now, you, you don't need to be too fussy. This body's going to be dubbed. If it was going to be a male or a tinsel body, but we're trying to keep that as level as it could. Now the body itself, this is seals fur, bright yellow seals fur that I've mixed with some uh, yellow light bright. Now I haven't blended it in the coffee grinder or anything like that. I've just blended it together in my in my hands. Let's get that dubbed on. Then we'll bring up our dubbing. Now I don't want this to be tight. I want it to be fairly loose. So it gives a wee bit of movement. Now at this point I want to put on a body haggle. And this is just an orange uh, saddle haggle. So I'm just going to feather off, bring away the rubbish at the bottom, strip some of the fibers off the bar of the stem, offer this up to the hook, just come around with a couple of nice tight turns, come in and trim away the stem and then we're just going to palmer this down the body. Now I'm going to look to get two three turns at the shoulder of the fly, meaning the, the top of the body and then three turns down the body. Right, just keeping a hold of your tip. Follow this around with your hot orange wire. And then we're looking four turns up the body. Sweep everything back. Bring your wire up in front. And we'll catch this in. Then we can bend and break away the wire. Bring my thread back down in the position, just sort of way tied up against the, the body haggle, and I can bring away the tip of the back. Now we're living ground. The next haggle, this is a, a waiting lace wing, dyed orange. So, we haggle off there. Just going to stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. Let me offer this up to the hook. Run with a couple of turns, fold the tip back, bring the thread turns up over the tip and the haggle, come in and break away the, the tip of the haggle. Now I'm looking turn and a half, two turns, no more than that. File this around with my thread. Couple of tight turns in there, and I'm gonna break away the stem of the haggle. Just fold everything back again. 
that wants to go forward. Right, we're not looking too bad. The next haggle, this is French Portridge. Now, you'll have seen me if you follow the videos or you subscribe to the channel. You've seen me using this before. Now, this has been dyed in pickwork acid. Now, if you're going to dye in pickwork acid, please be careful. Another wee tip is if you dye your own materials and you're going to use the acid, uh, best to be dying that when the, the good lady's not in the house. Or you might find yourself in a <laughs> in a bit of bother. Now, maybe more than a bit of bother bother. Anyway, <coughs> we'll just catch that in. Excuse me. And then we're just going to take two turns of the French partridge. That's all we're going to need. To there, follow this around with my thread. Nice tight turns in. I'm going to break that away as well. Fold everything back. Now I'm going to put some flesh in. And this is mirror flesh in blue. But it has a lovely like, type of copper sheen off of it. Too many strands here, so only one two. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to offer it up to the sides. Take a couple of turns going down towards the eye. Fold this excess back. I want that to be on your side. Nice and tight. Now, I'm just going to come in and trim these roughly to the the same length of a con. Doesn't matter if you don't get it perfect. You can see the wee glints of flesh there through it. Now, at the head, to create the muddler head, this is a it's lovely and soft, this deer patch, deer hair patch, that has been dyed yellow. Now, I'm just going to take a fairly decent clump, come in with my scissors, trim that close to the skin on the desk. Now, I'm just going to make sure this is well cleaned out because this wee patch has lots of under fur in it. And sometimes it can be a wee bit awkward to spin. But we'll give it a go. Now, I'm just going to pop it into the hair stagger. Just giving that a wee rattle on my hand. Now you don't need to stack the hair. You just take it off the way it is. Now I want the wee collar of the the yellow deer hair, so just coming in and just offering it up. Then I'm going to come around with a couple of loose turns and let the deer hair spin. Now, keeping the thread tight, don't let the thread go. Just come in and fold everything back. Bring your thread to the eye, nice and tight. Keeping your thread tight, don't let it go, come in and throw in a whip finish. Just that one wee favour there, get it to sit back, put your thread nice and tight, come in and trim away your tan thread. Now, just bring the deer hair out, just so I can Sort of way, start to trim the wee clay. Now, I'm just going to come in with a curved pair of scissors. And I just start at the side and do a first pass. Now, just be careful that you don't cut your flesh because I've done that before. Just take a first pass. And you're just looking to put whatever type of shape you like in the wee flies and muddler head. As you all know, the muddler heads are for movement and disturbance in the water. Now, I just want to be careful that I'm not trimming away too many of my hackle fibers. You can see the odd one, you 
back you can just break those away. Don't need to be trimming them. Right. Just have a wee look around. A couple of wee favours here underneath. Stay it on. And then once you're happy with your arm, just for the purposes of the video here to get it finished, I'm just gonna come in and just put a wee like a varnish. Just right on the thread. Just on the eye. Now keep everything back. Because it's best at this point to come in with a bit of waste wire. And just make sure that your eye is clean. Now, there you go. So that's the, the wee mutter. Sorry about the background noise or my dog. But there you go. Now tie a few of those up, hopefully. They can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps the wee channel out and it helps it grow. And until next time, folks, please stay safe and take lanes.